कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु दया करो मोरे श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु दया करो मोरे तो मिना के दयालो जगत सम Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. It's been some time that I haven't spoken uh, to you all. My channel has been a bit quiet recently. The last video I have uploaded is this uh, video that took about 200 hours of work on my end. I was very happy to be engaged in doing this video. It's concerning initiation, the Guru Tadva and all. Here I'm back. I hope that you appreciate. Kora Purnima in China. His Grace and the Gopal Prabhu is here. So as always, having his presence here enlivens all the devotees. He has not been back in China for almost six years now. Last time he came was in 2018. So here he is, he's back uh, for two weeks. We're gonna be having Gora Purnima, very happy to have him here. We've got some devotees who came down from uh, Inner Mongolia. We've got uh, Shyamalila Mataji who came also, and one Bhaktin uh, Vaishnavi Mataji. She spent three years in uh, Bangalore. So she associated with the Iskand Bangalore devotees, she took initiation over there. So the devotees are very enthusiastic, you know, we've got this uh, this temple here, which is not very big, big actually, it's quite small, but somehow other we managed to fit everyone. Advaita Gosha Tava Kripa Bole
So it was uh, Lila Avatar Prabhu and Shama Lila Mataji's first experience in uh, going to get some mango leaves and uh, banana trees. They were actually quite uh, excited um, because it's sort of a half illegal thing. Those banana trees were growing next to someone's property, you know. It's good, they get a little bit of uh, experience of um, <clears throat> this kind of flavor of service. So tomorrow um, there's Emily Mataji. Those of you who have been following the vlogs, you know Emily Mataji, she's got two children, one boy and one girl. We have met her some two years ago when we went to that city. We drove some seven hours with my wife and two children. We went to that city to see Bhakta Mark and then we met uh, Nanda Prabhu who stayed in his house for almost a month. We had this uh, summer camp Gurukula. We met her there and after that she came a couple of times to the temple. She came to the farmhouse. We went to her house like that. So she's coming tomorrow with her two children and her husband. She'll spend the festival with us and she'll go back in the evening. So yes, I think it's going to be a very nice festival. It's going to bring a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, for all the devotees here who've been, I mean to say, isolated and sort of uh, dwindling down. So His Grace and the Gopapamu's visit is doing a great benefit for all of us, as always. And he's also trying to convince the Bhanga Mataji to buy a farmhouse, which I have been trying to convince them for many years. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm like the son of the Bhanga Mataji. And Sunago Babu, anyway, is much more potent and dedicated and convinced. And his faith is very strong, so therefore, much more impactful. After Mangal Arti this morning, for Guru Puja, there is three devotees who came to the temple. They actually uh, contacted uh, Hamsika Mataji yesterday when they called again Ayan said, and they told me that they were from Mauritius and that they wanted to attend Mangal Arti at, a, at the temple. So I said, coming in too early, three, four of you is a bit too uh, uh, easily seen because we've got some gods at the, at the gate, you know. So four people coming in at 4.30 a.m. is not very good. So I told them, come for the Guru Puja, which they did. So they came, we had a nice Guru Puja, and then it was Bhagavatam class. Of course, his grace to Gopal Prabhu at one point uh, dove straight into the topic of Guru Tadva. Uh, he gave a class on the importance of a guru being self-realized knowing the shastra and being able to impart knowledge to you and that through knowledge you're able to raise yourself above the three modes so if the guru is, doesn't know shastra how he can impart knowledge and how he can raise you above the modes it was like this for about 30 minutes and after that he plunged directly he said actually amongst my god brothers uh, no one was authorized to become spiritual master that's what he said 
uh, to them. One of them was a disciple of Gopal Krishna Swami. Mm -hmm. We pulled out that video that we've made on this channel. I knew where to find different uh, parts of the video, so we showed those while preaching. And Prabhu had the IA-77 um, book next to him. So two of them were more receptive to what was going on. And they left with an IA-77 book. The original plan was for them to come back in the evening. But after this preaching session, I don't know if they'll be coming back. <laughs> Bole <laughs> 